One of the ways Sling keeps its prices lower than other live TV streaming services is that it does not include local channels in most cases, which users can get for free through an antenna instead. But if you connect an antenna and external hard drive to an Air TV device and link it to your Sling account, you can watch and record shows and sports on your local networks right from the channel guide within the Sling app. While this video is specific to an Air TV 2, an Air TV Anywhere or Air TV device will work the same basic way. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up an Air TV 2 device, watch our video on how to watch locals in Sling. After setting up your Air TV device, plug an external hard drive into the back of the device. We bought a 5 terabyte USB 3.0 compatible Seagate hard drive from Costco, but you don't need one that big. Air TV says your hard drive must only be larger than 50 gigabytes and that it currently supports recording up to 2 terabytes of storage for DVR. When you connect the external hard drive, all of the space on it will be formatted for your DVR recordings. Any space beyond 2 terabytes will effectively be unusable, so there is no need to buy one larger than that. Air TV 2 devices have USB 2.0 ports and an external hard drive with a USB 2.0 or 3.0 port will work with it. Once you've connected the hard drive, open the Sling app on a smartphone or tablet. Click the gear icon in the top right corner to access your settings. Then click Local Channels from the menu. Then click Connected Device. If you have not yet set up an Air TV, you will see an option to Set Up Air TV. Click that. If you already have set up an Air TV device, click My Air TV. Connect your hard drive to the back of the Air TV 2 player in the port that is labeled USB. You will see a message appear within the Sling app saying that a new hard drive has been connected. A message will tell you that it needs to format the hard drive for OTA DVR storage and that any data you have saved on the drive will be lost. Click the orange button that says Format Hard Drive. The Air TV 2 device will format your hard drive, which may take a few minutes. When it's done, navigate to the guide within Sling and verify that your local channels are there. If you need to, rescan your channels from the My Air TV screen within Local Channels in the Settings menu. Now navigate to the guide within Sling. You should now see a tab across the top that says Locals. Click it to see your local channels within the Sling guide. Click on a show that is airing in the future to record it. For example, we'll click on The Price is Right. When you do, you'll see the option to watch the channel, record the show, or view more details about the program. Click the orange Record button. A message will appear in the top right telling you that the program is now set to record. To see your recordings, navigate to the DVR tab within Sling. Across the top, from left to right, you'll see Recordings, Scheduled, DVR Storage, Air TV, DVR Storage, and Trash. Recordings is the main view. Here you'll see shows recorded on Sling channels and shows recorded on your Air TV device. Things you've recorded through your over-the-air antenna will have a little Air TV label next to them. You can click on any show to change recording options, delete, or lock it. During playback, you'll see that you can fast forward through commercials. You'll notice that you have two separate DVR storage tabs. DVR storage shows what you have included through your Sling account. Air TV DVR storage shows what you have through your Air TV device. As you can see, capacity is different for each. It's also important to remember that you can only record over the air content through your Air TV device. So you won't be able to record a show on ESPN, for instance, through your Air TV device. An Air TV 2 device has two tuners, which means you can record up to two shows at once, as it shows on the screen in your Air TV DVR storage tab. You can also choose to watch one show live and record another one if you want. Another important thing to know is that a paid Sling subscription is not required to connect an Air TV device and use it to watch and record local channels within Sling. We confirmed with Sling customer service that you can use this with a free Sling account, which is great. While Sling doesn't make Air TV devices, it regularly offers deals on them when you sign up for a paid Sling plan. It's not uncommon to get an Air TV device free through Sling when you pay up front for a month or two of service. While the Air TV 2 device retails for $85 to $100, we got ours along with an antenna for $49 through a Sling deal. If your deal does not include an antenna, you can buy a good indoor one on Amazon for $50 or often less. 
Any antenna will do. It does not have to be Sling's included one. You can watch our Mohu Leaf Antenna Review for step-by-step -step instructions on setting up an antenna in your home. It's easy and it only takes about five minutes. Both the antenna and Air TV 2 device are simple to set up and use. Yeah, and once you do, it adds convenience because wherever you are, you can launch the Sling app and watch and record your locals right there with all your other channels. If you have a Fire TV device, you can even integrate this functionality right into your Fire TV home screen. Since Sling is one of the live TV sources you can integrate into the guide function on the Fire TV homepage, an Air TV device gives you a workaround for getting locals back in the Fire TV home screen. Yeah, and that is a pretty nice convenience. If you want to see more about Sling plans, prices, and features, watch our Sling review video. Overall, we think pairing an Air TV device and antenna with a Sling account takes the experience closer to what you might have been used to with cable. And while we don't like cable, we do like the convenience of getting all your channels in one place. And using an Air TV device with Sling gets you one step closer to that. How do you currently get your local channels? If you use an Air TV device with Sling, what do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so we can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next video.